What's going on, Cobra Rollers? This is Poe Boy. Hey guys, we're gonna go ahead and assess the situation, see how, ma how much damage we had from last time. So stay tuned. Alright guys, so as you guys know, last time we had some rainstorms hit us and I had just uh, applied some of the Joko all over the hood and uh, yeah, the rain kind of messed it up some and uh, I'm going to show you guys what was damaged and uh, what I plan on doing. So let me show you right now. <laughs> well, as you guys see here in these areas, we lost some of the material right around here. And if you see that chalky stuff right there, and around here, and there, and all these areas, that's actually some more PVA, as I already started prepping it for what we're gonna do. Uh, basically what I'm gonna do is a leap of faith, let's call it that way, and I'm gonna try to salvage what we have here. Hopefully, you know, all that stuff doesn't all go bad um, but we'll give it a shot, you know, if it goes well, amen. If it doesn't, well, we'll try again, you know, we'll do it over again. But, uh, just in case we could save what we have here, because the materials are pretty expensive, you know, two liter gel coat, you know, you're paying about almost 90 something bucks for a gallon. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, try to salvage what we have here that's still good. Also, because of all the rain, the other molds have started separating which is a good thing because we know it's going to come out pretty nice. Uh, so what I'm doing here, as you guys see, I have some clamps put on there to hold everything together. That way <laughs> it doesn't separate. I'm going to show you here real quick. Let me release this clamp here so you guys can see what I'm talking about. So you guys can see here. I don't know if you can or not, but there's quite a bit of movement here. That that's the mold separating itself right down there can you see that yep so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put that clamp back over here to keep it tight and snug that way it doesn't change the dimensions of uh, you know the mold that we're gonna be making today and uh, we have to also correct in this edge here due to the separation as you can see the gel coat broke in between so we're gonna go ahead and take care of that part there too and uh, hopefully uh, we could get it done it is late in the eve in the afternoon it's already about 4 45 right now p.m. and yeah so we're gonna lose light here shortly and the weather's a little bit cooler than usual and by having a cooler weather that means that when we prepare the gel coat with the catalyst uh, we want to make sure that we add a little bit extra drying uh, catalyst so that way it cures you know um, you don't really want to work on gel coat anytime it's under 65 degrees but right now I'd say we'd be about 73 or so so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick before the night falls and it gets cooler so let's jump right to it <laughs> guys so as you guys were able to see I went ahead and uh, did some corrections on the gel coat here on the hood and uh, so far everything is looking good and uh, it has dried pretty well um, everything is really nice and dry 
We had to wait uh, an extra day. Today is actually the day after that I applied it. However, uh, we're gonna continue doing some work. It is uh, once again another afternoon, so I know the daylight is gonna go real quick. However, I don't know if you guys could see from there, but yeah, weather is uh, <laughs> a little scary right now for me to be taking you know chances like that. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it. I'm gonna send it, and we're gonna see how it goes. So let's rock and roll. <music>
All right, Cobra Rollers, so we're back inside, feeling fresh, all cleaned up. Let me tell you, it feels good to get all that fiberglass off of you. It gets itchy really, really quick. Um, as you guys were able to see, we went ahead and prepped all the surface of the hood, and uh, we did finally make the mold for it. Um, I did run out of uh, resin towards the end, so I was making that thing stretch, let me tell you. I did order some uh, last Friday, as I had promised on the video previously. I'll leave a little thingy here about last video. Um, but yeah, I uh, prepped everything up. We were able to lay all the fiberglass down, uh, as I always do. I use, uh, you know, 250 grain, then I use uh, a 450 gram and uh, twice, you know, towards the end. So two 450s, one 250s, and you use the, yeah, you know, I use polyester resin, and uh, everything sets up really nice. And I went ahead and put some of those cross braces that I do for uh, reinforcement. But uh, yeah, it was, uh, let me tell you, it was, I was running on a time crunch. I was scared about the weather. However, it did cooperate. Yeah, we stepped into the nighttime and you'll see a little bit of uh, light issues when it comes to, you know, the filming. But uh, towards the end, we were able to fix everything up and it looked a little bit better. But uh, yeah, I just want to say thank you to all of you because you guys keep on, uh, you know, motivating me to continue doing the videos. This is a big thing for me. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. A big shout out to DDPM, Stroker Diesel, Grace Diesel, ONJ Performance, The Diesel Podcast, MMB Diesel, <laughs> and uh, also Manette's Mega Shine. These guys are always backing uh, Po Boys Diesel up, and I really appreciate that. But I guess that's going to be it for today. Not a lot of jibber jabber, but uh, as I always say, let the coal roll.